Okay guys, real quick, just because someone asked, this is the charger we use. We have this one, we have a 20 mile charger. Don't forget you have to divide everything by five. So we're doing five strands. Obviously five miles is a lot, but we're not even close to that, but don't forget to do your math. And then we use American Farmworks poly wire, portable electric fence. Uh, the 13 20 foot was way cheaper than the longer roll for whatever reason is weird so that is what we use yes i'm extremely happy with it the batteries are replaceable they charge well they work well no problems easy to install <sighs> it's got some bird poop on it but anyway that's what we use works great no issues t-post steel t-post called a t-post because it's Kind of a t-shape on top there like that plastic couplers for that and then these are called step-in posts they're just plastic and they stab in the ground okay guys the entire fence is set up it was 513 paces all the way around so about 1500 feet a little over 1500 feet so now i'm going to take this energizer off of here I'm going to take it over there and set it up and just hope everything works. <laughs> By the way, I should have shown you that. It's as easy as unscrewing this, taking this off, unscrewing this one, taking this off, and then just pick it up like that, carry it to the next position. And then what I'll do is I'll take a piece of wire for the hot and I will tie it to each strand like that. I do not energize the bottom wire. The goats don't know the difference. I gotta get out of here before President Snow tries to walk through that fence. Only one goat, and that's licorice, that knows that that bottom wire is not energized. It's so low to the ground that I have to weed eat once a week, if not twice a week in the summer, to keep the grass from touching it. If the grass is touching it, it will arc and it will drain the battery. So it's important not to have anything touching your wires. And the easiest way to do that is to just not energize that bottom wire. So I didn't. Okay, so we are here. Pop this up on here like that. Placement is important. In the summer, the sun comes up over there, across the sky that way, sits down over there. Hi, Prez. <laughs> Don't you dare come through there. So I want this facing the sun all day or as, most, as best I can all day. So I'm gonna set it up like that. I'm gonna hook up my wires. Again, it's pretty easy because I already have this set up over here originally. Let's take this off, probably drop it. Pop that on there like that. It'll be metal touching metal. Screw that back down. I don't have my tripod, guys, because I'm doing this kind of like ad lib a little bit. So I will go ahead and cut a piece of wire, tie it from this screw to the top four wires, and turn it on. This is an eight foot long ground rod, six or eight, I don't remember. Maybe it's only six feet. If you guys watch Blue Cactus, you'll see Derek go out and you'll see him pour water on the ground on this because their ground is so dry that there's no water. So this goes far enough down in the ground that it always has a moisture conduction. I don't know if that's the right word, but this grounds the fence. And in order for the fence to work properly, you have to have a ground that is conducting moisture, that is, that is contacting moisture, and then when the animal touches the fence again, the animal is touching this and their feet are on the ground, it completes the circuit and it zaps the animal. So this is critical. And we're only about six feet above creek level over here. So groundwater for us is never an issue. This is also, there's also a couple springs across here. You can see where this grass doesn't grow in very well. So this always stays wet, which is exactly why I stuck it here. And it's six feet in the ground, so it's gonna have moisture touching it. 
so that is that and i will get the wire on there and turn it on and we will try to test it okay guys so i tested down there and it's popping just fine so i'm gonna come over here okay i'm, I'm only like 10 feet or, well i'm probably 30 feet from that but remember it wraps all the way around and comes back up through here so i'm probably lengthwise probably thousand feet from the beginning because remember it has to pulse out it'll go all the way around the fence and it'll stop all the way up there at the orchard so i'm about a thousand feet out on that stab your little probe into the ground where it's moist <laughs> Okay, sorry guys, it's sunny out and when it's really sunny, the little lights don't show up on this very well. So I had to put down the camera. I gotta get this garbage out of here, but not right now. <sighs> Today, but not as I'm doing this because what I wanna see, and I'm also gonna have to figure out a way, I think I'm just gonna bungee this door open. See if we got any goats in here. I already have a string on here. Just string that. Yep, that'll keep the door from going closed. Any of you, uh, any of you ladies want to take on this? Let me walk out here. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Put in. Put. Hey. <laughs> She's like, nah. We'll see. Okay, if, if I can get him to come out the door, I'll we'll, uh, I'll bring you guys back. Puddin, are you going to come out? Oh, she's like, oh, I can get this grass from here, though. If Frosty Mom was over here, she would walk right out the door. And Gummy. She's like, for now, though, there's this, and I'm going to eat it. You're killing me, Smalls. Genji, you going to come out, baby? <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys one more thing, and I'm going to show you one more thing. So what I'll do next, now that I have the fence on and energized, is I will walk around the entire fence and make sure that I don't hear anything clicking or popping. If you hear ticks and pops and clicks, it's because the fence, something is touching the fence and it's arcing. Generally where that happens, oh, pudding came out. <laughs> Still a little unsure, but definitely like, ooh, there's some high grass over here, ladies. So what I'm going to do is the front fence pasture is dead now. I brought the charger over here. That's dead. The goats aren't going to know that. At a minimum, tonight, I will close this big gate right here. And I will shut them off from the main pasture out there. And I'm going to start, uh, as soon as we finish kidding season, I will clean out all the stalls. And I'm going to spread that on that front pasture and just let it fertilize. You're a brave one, Mr. Chuck. Of course you are. They don't have a care in the world. They're like, there's food. And I'm going to eat it. Can't wait till the other ones figure it out. So what I'll do is I'll walk this entire fence and your concern areas are going to be here on these pieces here let me zoom out just a little bit i wrap these are i think mellow's up there being mad sorry i heard a noise i go around once and then out the other side this holds tension on the actual fence these little posts right here are just guides this wire is loose in here they just hold it up off of the ground between the spans i do a hundred foot between green tea posts and i just put a little extra tension on it it's nice and tight all the way down through there to the next tea post which is right down there right there and i do the same i wrap it all the way around so now that I have the fence on and energized, 
I will walk the entire perimeter again and make sure nothing's popping or snapping. And then the other thing, I was, I built this gate out of a cattle panel. I had a cattle panel, I just cut some of it off and I was looking at it and there's this gap right here between each one of these posts. So I just took those clips off, popped the uh, cattle panel in behind those clips. I'm gonna throw one more on there, I think. And now I have this gate. Just opens like that. I made it wide enough so I can bring the mower in here. I'll show you guys in another video, but my neighbor behind me, Joe, who's awesome, brought me home some industrial grade, like tracks that are used to cover up uh, I guess internet wire, Joe, I hope. <laughs> uh, but anyway, they use those to cover the wires so they can drive over top of them when they're, when they're, uh, when they're building things. And I'm gonna take those and I'm gonna put them down there for the man bridge. I'll put those in right there so I can drive the mower across here and I'll be able to get up inside of here. So I just planned that a little bit extra wide right there. And, uh, That'll allow me to get the mower in here. And when I get the bridge in, whoop, whoop, it'll be awesome. I can always come around from the top and go behind the fence. I left that one path all the way behind the fence so that I can mow that and keep the woods from trying to close in on the fence. Mr. Mavi, Maverick, big dog. Tick, are you gonna come out, baby? She's like, nah, maybe, maybe. We'll wait on a few more goats. <laughs> Guys, they are officially coming out in droves. I'm not sure why Licorice is still over there, but she is. She'll come around. But, uh, of course, they have to walk on the metal that's sharp and pokey that I didn't clean up. Of course they did. <laughs> Lamb's looking for mama's. So I walked the entire perimeter, guys, and I came back to quite a few more goats out here. And they'll, they'll slowly spread out. They'll walk a little further every day, and they'll explore further and further and further and further. And they'll just eat their way along. Hopefully this will take them a long time back here, and then they'll slowly find their way over towards the house because that's just gonna be a foot tall in about three weeks. Come on, lambs. <laughs> Which one are you, Stitch? Always find a place to lay, aren't you, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> Chuckles, new excitement. Chuck. Anyway, honey, you know that's a hot fence. Don't touch it. Hi, Chuck. So, yeah, guys. Not that I didn't think it would work out because, you know, it's the same concept. Just a different location. But, oh, man, I'm so happy to see them just coming out here. Just loads of grass to eat. And nothing's been over here for about two years. It's probably been close to two years since we took the pigs off of here. So, this is just grown up, super tall, lots of brushy stuff for the goats, like this, lots of grazing for the sheep, lots of browsing for the goats. So yeah, win-win. And they'll make their way, they know what the fence is, they'll slowly like bump along the fence they'll make sure that they know where it is they are to respect the fence so it's pretty easy for them to get to it and stop except for honey honey where are you going yeah get back here with your mama you little goof I'm not sure why they're all running as or they're just maybe excited <laughs> like there's so much there's so much food <laughs> Hi, boys. What's going on, Mr. Stitch? Look at your beautiful face. Yeah. 
You're a beauty. You are a beauty. So are you, mister. Mr. Ryder. All right, guys, I'm going to see if I can uh, lure the rest of the goats over here. Licorice has decided to die on that hill over there. But she'll figure it out, and then I'll get that gate closed once I have everybody in. And worst case scenario, like I said, I'll close it tonight. Let's pop in here and check on uh, Mama Muffin. Hi, Muff. How are you, babes? Doing great. Tiny little things. <laughs> he's so rambunctious. But these guys have... Uh, these two, this this one here and this one here are the two I worried about most. And I've seen them both get up, get on mom, no problem. Well, besides the fact that her teeth are huge and they barely fit in their little tiny mouths. But they're, they, they worked it out. Hi, I see you. <laughs> he's like, hey, buddy, look over here. Look over here. Little goofballs. <laughs> they're doing great. She's doing great. Ah, just goats everywhere, guys. I love it. You know what this means. H is probably going to want more goats because, you know, we have more land. We have the same amount of land. We just opened up a lot. Ah, priority one. Get that out of here because... Why, why guys? Oh, and hey, look at that goat right there. Miss Drizzle. Look at her, just doing her queen thing. Walking like nothing's wrong. I love it, guys. Love it so much. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope if you're planning to build fence, I know a couple of you reached out to me and said you are. And this is just... I probably have uh, maybe eight hours total work in this. And that's just because I had to clear back through the woods. So if you just have a flat spot and you wanted to whip this out, you could do it in a day easy. Just super easy. And now we can flip them from this pasture to that front pasture, the FYP. And uh, I don't know what this is going to be, side yard pasture. I call it the creek cut or something. I don't know. <laughs> the wooded lot. But yeah, so I mean, you could do this easy in a day. It's a lot of back bending because you're bending down to walk the length of your fence with with the uh, wire to pop it in the post but easier than doing uh, conventional fence that's for sure and I could pull this down in probably less than a day and uh, pack it up and move it wherever I want <laughs> oh, this makes me happy awesome 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 mama are you gonna go out I don't know, a little sketchy about it. Mr. Snow. Hi, baby lamb. I keep calling baby lamb, but lamb is a baby sheep. Hi, mama. Little, hi, Pez. Can't call you mama because, like I call the goats mamas. Boys, what's going on? Nothing. A couple of little sleepers over here. Lilo and uh, Glitch. I'm not gonna get excited about whether or not I think she's developing udder, even though I think she is, but I don't wanna I don't wanna lead you guys into thinking she's having babies anytime soon. Hmm. Alright guys. See if I can round up the other goobers and <sighs> clearly get that metal out of there as fast as humanly possible. Gather up these other goobers out there and get them back over here and close this gate. And that will be it, y'all. Have an amazing day. Reach out if you have questions. Feel free to hit me in the comments. Actually, hit me in the emails because I literally can't keep up with comments anymore. So shoot me an email if you have legitimate fence questions that you think I might be able to answer. Derek from Blue Cactus Dairy Goats is where I got all my polywire fence knowledge. So he has a good video out there. Just just uh, Google uh, 
blue cactus dairy fence setup or something like that it should pop up but it's been the most amazing cheapest way to add fence to the to the property that is it enjoy the babies while we have them and we'll see you guys tomorrow